the ICU, Ms. Doreen Bogdan Martin, ICU Director TSD, Ms. Doreen, CEO of CDAR, R.K. Padeji, Secretary of Department of Telecom, Neeraj Nithalji, Deputy Director of ITU, and the wonderful Master Ceremony, Mr. Gadel Janusiji. Excellencies, esteemed leaders, visionary pioneers, welcome to Bharat, welcome to India. India has always been a land of science. India has always been a land of innovation. India has always been a land of rules, abiding by them, for the prosperity of not only her people, but for the prosperity of the world. And therefore it is only act that at this juncture where the world stands, where we are on the cusp of paradigm revolutions, which normally would take centuries or decades, that today tectonic shifts are happening in a matter of months and days that we converge on India's land at this Global Standards Symposium and the WTSA. So a very warm welcome to all of you from Bharat Mata from India. It's a profound honor and unbounded gratitude that I stand before all of you at the Global Standards Symposium. This is not only an esteemed gathering, but it's a congregation of the brightest minds of our time that today emerge to chart the future course of an interconnected world. We find ourselves at a pivotal moment in history, standing at the crossroads of an exhilarating digital revolution. The innovations of today, and as Secretary General Gloria Martin said, the standards we establish and the collaborations that we are nurture will shape an unprecedented of global advances. And this symposium serves as a beacon for facilitating global dialogue, a vital mission that unites international experts and leaders in discussing and building consensus on the standards that will support the global rollout of new technologies. And we are here today not as representation, representatives of our nations alone, but as architects of a shared technological future. The relentless tide of innovation is weaving new patterns into the fabric of each one of our economies and each one of our societies. And therefore, it's a collective duty to ensure that the decisions that we take today rooted in both collaboration and foresight become the bedrock upon which the next digital wave is built. The import of dialogue cannot be overstated. The wonders of 5G, the brilliance of artificial intelligence, and the interconnected models of the Internet of Things are transforming industries, societies, and manufacturing processes and economies in a global scale. Yet their full potential can 
only be realized through a united approach and by bringing together luminaries from across this globe. This symposium enables us to craft the standards that will ensure innovation will thrive not in isolation but in harmony across borders, across our world. At the heart of this dialogue lies the critical role that international standards play in promoting innovation. It is through these shared foundations that groundbreaking technologies such as 5G, AI, cloud computing can truly flourish. These standards are the indispensable framework that ensures interoperability, enhances security, and fosters trust. Because without the advancements of today, risk descending into disarray. The profound impact of 5G. This technology is not merely just fast internet. Is not merely just no latency but is laying the groundwork for intelligent cities, visionary infrastructure, and autonomous innovation. In India alone, for example, 5G is anticipated to inject an astounding $450 billion into the economy by 2040. And therefore, while we have rolled out 5G across all 36 states and union territories, covering 98% of our districts and 80% of our population in just 22 months. This is not only a feat of India alone, but it highlights the transformative power of standardized innovation. We are unlocking new realms of possibility in healthcare, education, in agriculture, in manufacturing. And therefore, as we champion innovation, we must also confront the complexities of governance. AI as a model is reshaping the contours of how we store and process information. It's giving governments, companies, individuals unparalleled agility, unparalleled precision, unparalleled scalability. But its deployment must be guided by ethical considerations and a robust regulatory framework. Governance of AI and IoT cannot be just an afterthought. And we must address concerns of privacy, of bias, and of transparency, ensuring that these technologies serve as a force for good. India too has transformed herself in the last decade. Whether we look at the rollout of 5G, India's global stack, India's united payment interface, India's Aadhaar card system, India's DigiLocker, which stores almost 6.75 billion documents, serves 300 million users. All of these are being used as vehicles for international and global participation. Ensuring that no one is left behind. Ensuring inclusivity of digital access for every single citizen. In Africa, in Asia, agreements with Singapore, with Bhutan. And therefore, what is extremely important is enhancing governance and at the same time, fostering social inclusion. We are today poised at the edge of a new technological era, the dawn of the sixth generation of mobile networks, 6G. And this is a gateway to the future where communication will become boundless, where innovation will know no limits, and where humanity's interconnectedness becomes the cornerstone of our shared global destiny. With ITU's guidance comes the need for a comprehensive policy framework. A framework that not only addresses the technical demand 
about the socio-economic implications of 6G, but we also envision a regulatory environment that promotes inclusivity, equity, and accessibility. A framework that encourages innovation while safeguarding the interests of the global community. A policy that fosters both competition and collaboration, ensuring that the benefits of 6G are distributed equitably and fairly without deepening the digital divide. And therefore, in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, the choices we make today, the standards we set, and the partnerships we nurture will define the technological landscape, not only for us, but for future generations. International standards, collaboration, and innovation will serve as the pillars of the next digital wave. And together, we can forge a future where technology transcends borders and empowers every nation and every individual. With these words, I welcome you all to the WTSA Global Standards Symposium in India. Thank you very much. Jai Hind, Jai Bhat. Thank you.